Hello friends and welcome to my YouTube channel Simply Stocks and today I'm going to talk about Godrej properties which is right now coming at a very abysmal levels. Let's understand how the business is doing and whether you should get into the stock or not. So let's get started. First of all a disclaimer that this is not a stock recommendation and people taking any position into any share that I talk about should do that with their own due diligence and research and I'm not in favor or against any company that I talk about. Before I talk about Godrej Properties, there is a small request that kindly support me on Patreon and thanks a lot for all the 60 odd uh, patrons who have supported me uh, so far. I'll make better videos on YouTube and do a better research, help you in market companies queries, just a one line answers on different queries. This is not a portfolio request uh, like segment on, on Patreon but you can ask questions about one odd uh, stocks here and there and what I feel about the companies or investments. Uh, uh, with regard to uh, larger investments as SIP etc. Once I have more than 200 patrons I'll definitely try to start with an education course on YouTube and uh, for detailed market or company talk you can contact me through email and I'll definitely reply in due course of time. Uh, so you'll get access to exclusive articles and many videos or articles that I put forward before I put it on YouTube. So many uh, things that I put on YouTube comes later on and before everything else it comes on Patreon such as the Reliance Facebook deal and my opinion on it, it, it came beforehand and many other things. Now about Godrej Properties, and this was established in 1990 and they provide infrastructure and real estate services. It claims to be the fastest growing property company in India and it is one of the best. So with the Godrej brand around, uh, it has a strong business fundamentals and they deal in high-end property construction across India. So these are not, you can say, MSME projects. These are not uh, for small retailers. These are big projects or big, you can say, villas, etc. or uh, different societies that they build, which, which are expensive in nature comparatively. The market cap of the company is around 14,000 crores or so and uh, currently it is trading at attractive levels so if you look at the numbers the sales are up by around 13 percent so 382 crores uh, the pat uh, actually this is interesting because they were in losses so this is the financials of q2 fi20 versus fi19 and the financial sees that the, it was a negative and and it went into positive 70 crores there is high debt but then it is a real estate business infrastructure business so the debt would be high and interest costs would be there but comparatively to other infrastructure companies this is a better company uh, uh, so that needs to be taken into account. The return on equity is around 12% and operating profit margin is 13% which is average in nature, nothing very great uh, compared to the industry average. So if you look at the performance of the stock, the stock is up 250% in the last 18 months. It did really well till February. So it went up sharply and went to something like 1100 from around 5600 500 or so and uh, that is the reason it has been told so 4 500 was the price went to 1100 1200 rupees uh, but then that move got stalled in february and over the last three months uh, it has lost something like 50 percent of its value and remember that this presentation was made about two three weeks back so you have to take that into consideration that's why i'm changing the numbers here from say two months ago it was three months ago that it made a peak and then the stock started falling there is high promoter and institutional holding and there is only nine percent pre-float and that is very significant uh, because that shows you that what kind of confidence high net worth individuals and FIIDIIs have on uh, Godrej properties it is a very lucrative business uh, but in a lagging sector uh, high debt is a concern but but then again probably over a period of time the debt would continue to uh, reduce uh, it is one of the best property companies available Shobha developers is there so this is Godrej properties it is perhaps the leader in this space with Oberoi and Shobha uh, Godrej is right up there 
So what has been the reasons for decline? A sector under stress for a number of years, for the last 7-8 years, ever since I have started uh, investing into the market, I have seen uh, the sector go under tremendous pressure and never seen these this sector to come up. Pharma, IT, consumption have always done well. Even autos have done well uh, just till recently, till 2017. Uh, but uh, I have not seen infrastructure and especially real estate do that well. So sector being under pressure, this company uh, falls under the sector, so it has not done well that uh, much. Uh, current scenario has also deepened matters, so with the kind of no construction going on, virtually no business whatsoever since end of March till now, but very little business and now uh, green shoots are cropping up with, with some sort of business picking up with a slightly opened up economy uh, in India. Uh, we could see some more quarters, two, three more quarters of pain. So it will take more than a year to revive. So in my opinion, it will take still one more year and probably then we'll again revisit and understand as to how the uh, company is doing. Uh, investors are looking at safer bets and safer bets are in FMCG, in, in other consumer discretionary in pharma it so they look for that rather than going into real estate and infrastructure that is for sure and there's concerns on executions of projects and funds so they have got projects there's a pipeline of projects but these are multi-million uh, rupee projects and this, these are hundreds of crores going to be invested into it and with with funding a difficult task with with a lot of retailers losing their jobs maybe and many of them having less salary uh, to get into and probably pay for the rent, rental income or incomes to to uh, to fund the uh, you can say EMIs. Uh, Godred property is going to suffer. So business has been virtually stalled for the last two months or so. And let's see how it goes going forward. If you look at the technicals uh, of the stock, then it is trading well below the 200 DMA, which is 910, currently trading at around 600, 620. There is strong support somewhere, I think, uh, around, uh, say, 20, 25% down at around 460 to 520 rupees. There is strong support. That could be a long-term stop loss if somebody is holding the stock. Uh, Short-term support lies at around 575, so just about 6-7% lower. Uh, there's heavy up move expected only above 750 so you have to consider that and you have to be mindful of that that probably only buy above 750 and don't buy immediately and probably the stock goes to 460 then you'll be just left holding the baby technically it looks extremely weak on charts and that's why i suggest that when the charts become stronger above 750 then go ahead and buy into the stock so what needs to be done in my opinion, it is a avoid. Uh, if it has not been bought, I would avoid the company. I would still look for good consumption plays, debt-free companies to get into. But if you are holding it, the stock, or if I was holding the stock at around 900,000 rupees, I would hold on to it. And if I have money, I would add on to it because this is one of the better real estate companies to get into. Uh, over a five six year period i have no doubt that this would be much higher from these levels probably going back to 1100 1200 even beyond that so have a good three to five year view and whenever the sector does really well and there's a lot of news and the stock is making new highs every day and all that then you exit the stock so it is a top company in a lagging sector and that's why it is suffering uh, but over a course of three to four years i'm sure the levels would be much higher only have less than 5% exposure to such stocks. So this was my video on Ghost Rate Properties. Please like and subscribe my channel and hit the bell icon so that you can get my videos straight away when I post it. Thanks a lot for watching.